Okay, with this one we're starting out with a number of grams of H3PO4, which means we're over here at grams of A. And we're looking for, it says here, litres of CO2, which will be litres of B. So we're going to have to go from grams of A to moles of A to moles of B to litres of B. So I'm going to start out here. It'll be at 49.0 uh, grams of H3PO4. Times and then a line. Now we know that grams of H3PO4 goes on the bottom because the units have to cancel. And we're first of all after moles of H3PO4, so that's going to go on top here. The relationship between moles of H3PO4 and grams of H3PO4. One mole of H3PO4 is equal to the molecular weight of H3PO4, given up here as 98.00 grams. So there you go, that's the relationship. One mole of that is equal to 98.00 grams of that. Times and then a line. We know that the moles of H3PO4 moles of H3PO4 goes on the bottom to cancel out with this one. And we're looking for moles of the thing that we're after which is uh, CO2. So moles of CO2 goes on top. The relationship between these two is that 3 moles of CO2 came from 1 mole of H3PO4, 3 moles, 1 mole, times, and then a line. Moles of CO2 goes on the bottom, and we want litres of CO2, so we know that that's going to go on top. Okay, the relationship between these two uh, we know that one mole is equal to 22.414 litres at STP. Alright, so that would be the setup for that particular one right there.